Panther broadcasting powered by PrepCast coming off of Parkway Central. We're now headed over into Liberty. Tom Harpeck sitting down with Coach Joe Bacon. Uh, Coach, 48-7, to uh, big win, obviously. Tyler Oaks plays a huge part in the win. Yeah. Uh, you kind of talked about it in our post-game show last week, but what made him factor in that game more than the previous two? Honestly, it's just kind of the way those plays uh, played themselves out inside the field that we were on. And if we'd have been on the right hash instead of the left hash, it would have probably been Isaiah Hartrip. So um, it, it wasn't necessarily part of the plan, but knowing that he's – Available and able to make plays like that makes a big difference for us. What about uh, looking forward into Liberty when you're coming off a game like that? Uh, how do you coach the kids this week, saying, "Hey, I know you guys had you know maybe an easy time of it uh, last week, but hey, now we got to look forward to this." What what's kind of your main message coming off of a kind of a blowout win? I think the big point is, I mean, it, it went real well for us, mm-hmm. and it looked like it was easy, but it wasn't easy, right? It was, mm-hmm. We ended up scoring points a lot, but it's only because we we executed really well and we were focused and uh, we did things the right way. And so um, they understand they got to keep doing it that way in practice too. And so if they let their focus drop, uh, if the effort level goes down some, it's it's not going to be easy by any means against Liberty or anybody. And we could find ourselves in a pretty bad spot. So I think they understand. They, they got to keep that level up throughout the week, including Friday night. Jack Newcomb got in a little bit of quarterback on Friday. Yep. Um, prospectively, you might say he might be your quarterback in waiting, maybe. How do you think he did? Uh, I thought he did real well. Yeah. And he's definitely one of our quarterbacks in waiting. Yeah, um, one of. That's, one of. That's a good thing to he's hear. He's a real good option. So uh, he handles it really well. I mean, he's smart. He knows you know, where everybody's supposed to be. And, and not just the intellectual side of it, but physically. He, he makes his reads, but then he, he runs well. He's got good paths that he takes. It's pretty dynamic with the ball in his hand, so he, I, I was very impressed with that that Friday night. Well, the biggest thing was that I, we had one offsides penalty, but besides that, all of the plays we had were what I would call successful plays. Mm-hmm. You know, it's four yards on first down, uh, at least half the distance on second down to first down, and then converting on our third down. It's like all those plays were successful. We didn't have bad snap. Uh, we didn't have uh, guys going to the wrong hole or missing their blocks. Like Everybody was doing what they were supposed to do. And granted, it was maybe a hair slower than when the first string does it, but like it, that was our offense, and they looked pretty good. Mm-hmm. Right? Isaiah Hartrip uh, was matched up against a six foot four wide receiver uh, last game. How do you think he did? I thought he did well. Uh, we ended up giving up one touchdown, and uh, Isaiah might have been a little bit soft in his coverage, but Isaiah is just a very physical, athletic kid, and his technique's good, and he works very hard in mm-hmm. having good technique. Like he's he's really developed himself. Yeah. So. Um, I would I'd say he's truly one of the top corners in the area. Yeah, because he was 5'10", going up against 6'4". I mean, you can't really do much about height. And they can really, once the second half got on, he controlled him pretty well. I thought so. And he, he made uh, that receiver's height not be an issue, mm-hmm. um, the way he played. So just real physical and uh, on top of the kid. So he did a really good job. It's been as hot as it's been this week. It's been a real good week of practice, and they're focused, and um, it's looked pretty sharp so far. So. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to see how that translates Friday night. All right. Well, thanks, Coach. We'll see you next week. Panther Broadcasting, powered by PrepCast, your play-by-play network.